is Dave Dow with Covaris. I will be walking you through how to use the Covaris CryoPrep CPO2 today. Uh, the Covaris CryoPrep is an instrument that is used for tissue pulverization, dry tissue pulverization, typically for extraction of biomarkers such as proteins, DNA, RNA, um, anything that's heat sensitive, anything that you want to produce the results with, or anything that you have to scale, right? You, you know, want to use a more personal, clean edit, free single sample if you have 100 different mice in the experiment. This is a great solution for you at a relatively low cost of entry. Um, what we'll be using today is the TCO1 tissue bag and cryobile. Uh, essentially, this is made for from 100 bags to about 1 gram. If you're going to be processing less than 100 grams, you can use the TT05 bag here. And we also have TT2 and TT3 bags for up to 2 and up to 3 grams. Okay, so the preferred setup uh, that I like to use is a, an approach with two separate doers for ice, a doer for my liquid nitrogen, and the instrument kind of in the middle of the whole situation here. Uh, you can put your samples on ice in this tour, and I like to pre-chill the tube as well. It just helps with the sample transfer and it helps with keeping your samples cold. Uh, the large benefit of this system and this workflow is that it keeps your samples cold the entire time. So if your live worker that you're extracting is heat sensitive, uh, we can preserve and maintain that through the entire biofactuation and the extraction of, of the sample. To start, you will take a tissue sample and place it into the tissue bag. If your tissue sample is frozen onto your Epidor PCR tube cryo vial, um, there's nothing I can do. Sorry, you're going to have to figure a way to get it out and get it into the tissue tube. Take the vial, screw it on to the tissue tube. I like to pinch the bottom of the tube just to make sure that the sample doesn't run all the way down. You do want it in the middle of the tube because that will be in the middle of the impact zone. The holder, in this case for the TT1 tissue tube, has fins on it that will hold it at a specific height. So all you have to do once you freeze the sample is put it into the holder and press the activate. Typically I will freeze the sample for about 30 seconds. If it's a larger sample, certainly 2 or 3 grams, you would want to freeze it for a longer period of time to make sure it's going to be frozen. Once your sample is completely frozen, you can choose your impact setting on a scale of 1 to 6, essentially the lowest being 1.3 joules of force, the highest being 1.6 joules of force. Open the lid to insert the tissue tube. It will automatically stop at the preset height designation. Press the green button to activate the cylinder, and then you can transfer the tube directly into a vial. Alternatively, if you are looking to store in the tissue tube after the pulverization, you do have the option of using this plug, storing, saving, or sending your tissue bag to another site. 